Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand knowledge channel. Today's topic is all about CHAID and CHAID stands for Chai Square Automatic Interaction Detection. And what technique it follows? It follows a technique called decision tree. And this is very profound model. And you have a Chai Square. And in Chai Square, this is automatic version. And just to recap your memory, Chai Square is used when you have both the side x axis and y axis are input and output both the side when you have a discrete situation then you can use chi square data so what is so great about ched ched is it provides that automatic interaction detection that is the uniqueness of ched let's see the same example we can see how we can do it directly in with the live example using data tab so this is the web browser, fantastic tool. When you feed all the value and automatically within fraction of second, it gives the result. So this is the data I have, for example, gender, male and female, age group I have 30, 20 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50. And the result I have, the outcome, the outcome is purchase, not purchase, right? So this is the one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something called decision tree have a click on it and uh, these two things will come up one is called dependent variable dependent is result right and what is the independent for example let's say you wanted to have a go with the gender and age group right so this is the overall one so i have done the all this uh, selection and then automatically the tree structure chain tree decision tree is ready now let's see how it goes 70 percentage high level picture first 70 percentage purchased 30 percentage not purchased n value also it gives my n value is 10 so out of seven people have take purchase and three people have not purchased this is the chai square value 3.25 and also it gives uh, distribution frequency and so on the same value what it does i have selected something called age group right age group it gives the data like for example 20 to 30 31 to 40 41 to 50 this is the three canopies or three groups i have it is split down the data and then it gives a further information like 20 to 30 three people were there and all three purchase 100 percent and 31 to 40 only one is there and that is purchased 33 percentage and 41 to 50 three people were there and 75 percentage purchase and one not purchase so this is the group it gives further it for, further it break down into male and female for example let's say uh in in purchase male you have 102 number two two of them purchase so and female one uh one purchase so it is uh it is 100 percent and it again 31 to 40 it gives a breakdown again you have another 41 to 50 you can give it and further you can add the category for example let's say whether it is a weekends or not we can for example let's say i will add a word called weekend week or weekend right so i will add it like weekend okay maybe a few values i'll put it like weekend 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 and weekend maybe i'll put this as a weekdays weekday and you have a, some values like weekend weekdays and i have further bifurcation what it does again you can do this one your result okay and you can further gender age group and weekend again for one second the same data Again, you have total, the bigger picture, followed by age group, followed by male and female gender, followed by weekends and weekdays and weekends, weekend, weekdays and weekend. It gives a very beautiful chart. So this is so great uh, in data tab. You can explore more. You can feed the data and then you can have anything. For example, let's say you don't want a certain category. Let's say you don't want uh, week or weekdays. So again, the, you know, it comes down to have a tree structure. Let's say you wanted to add a few more things. You can further, you, you can add it. This is very useful when you have a more category. 
like you have a cast you have a secondary cast you have underlying cast you have all these different defects you have all this if you wanted to have a structure then this technique can be very well be used and this does it very very automatically the chai square automatic interaction direction itself is the automatic technique and it follows something called tree structure i hope you 